Hello and welcome to another blended quick tutorial for the magic series this time again. Yesterday we've created a fire in Blender renderer. This time we are going to create a fire in the Blender cycles renderer. Because this is slightly different so I want to show you. In case you already know this um, just skip and watch the next video tomorrow. Yeah. Well, in this case, we also um, start with the emitter. This time I use an icosphere. It doesn't really matter. Then create a domain. Set this to flow, fire and smoke. Maybe a kind of initial velocity source. All right. Um, increase the subframes. And over here, dissolve an adaptive domain. So. Just as quick, we just uh, created our little fireball. Cool. Next thing we need to do is we need to set up our material. As you remember the last time we set um, for our material, for the cube, uh, a voxel map, a voxel data texture. Well, in this case, we don't have this. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, a bad thing is actually fire also can't be rendered on GPU, just on CPU. So please check that you got your um, render device set on CPU. So now do this online. So you see uh, our basic material is created with a diffuse node and this uh, our output plug into the surface. So we delete this and add a new shader. In this case it's going to be a volume scatter. Now plug the volume um, plug the volume um, plug to the volume output however and then we're going to add as an input an attribute. So in this case, there's no real node already for um, rendering smoke and fire. So we take the attribute and this takes the values we need for our fire. So in this case, we write into the name density, right? Density. And then we plug in the fa factor into the density. And you see, it just takes the density of the fire as a voxel map um, and creates the smoke. Fine. Now we can plug in a math node and set it to multiply. And now we can increase and decrease the density of our smoke. So we can make it really, really dense, even that it looks like solid. We can also just make it really 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 less dense so we almost don't see it so i'll take it i'll let it be at well let's say a multiplier of five so now we basically just got the smoke but we also want the fire of course so we add in a new shader in this case it's going to be an emission shader and an add shader and now we add those two and now we got a white block that's basically because we also need the information we got for the smoke, also for the emission. In this case, we type in flame, not phelum, flame, all right. And yeah, use the, this one over here. And you, as you can see, we got our fire. Great. Uh, we can also just put this in there, but it, it's actually not really um it doesn't make a huge difference so now we do the same as we did for the fire and the blend render where we add a color ramp uh, it's the same as the ramp we had in the blender render and now we put in the colors we need so we can oh now well why don't we just make a green fire this could be interesting 
So make it a little bit green, then make it a little bit yellow, yellow orange, then a new node or a new position with a light green, and then maybe take a dark uh, bluish green right here. And we got a very, very interesting fire in my opinion. So uh, yeah, that's how it. Uh, that's how it works. So what we can do now is, because fire actually don't got um, something in the middle. So I mean, in the center you don't see fire. Just around, and that's what I just did. I set this one to transparent and black, and plugged in as the strength. So now we increase the strength a little bit. We do it as in the same way as we did it over here. Take a multiply node and set it to something like five. No, two should be a five. Yeah, two is, two is fine. All right. Um, so now we can also make this a little bit transparent. So, well, it's more natural. Five isn't uh, really something that is um, completely solid. And now, because of this, we um, give it a little bit transparent, just a little bit. So now we got our, yeah, our flame, our fireball in green. <laughs> the special thing about magic, it can be everything. But now we, I, I think I want to have more smoke so I want, um, I will play around a little bit with the Earth's values. You can see I uh, use larger values for smaller frame. Um, so put it to one. I want to have more smoke. I like smoke. It somehow looks more natural. I don't know why. Looks more interesting. Yeah, that's that's interesting. And then maybe flame rate to 0 0.6. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's our fireball. Nice. So now, as well as the other one, we can throw <laughs> this one around. The problem actually is, um, instead of what we have done in the last tutorial, making those um, those sparks and yeah we just can't really do it here because we don't have an option to render the halos so in this case we would need to use uh, objects physical objects something like this over here so uh, make it green a mission shader green yeah nice uh-huh set everything up take the cube we just oh what is this oh <laughs> my fault we took the wrong object so now we actually need to take the ball as an emitter for those particles, otherwise it would be just dumb. So now we got some particles flowing around. Make it a little bit more di more random, yeah. Uh, then maybe increase the size a little bit. Something like this, yeah, this should be fine. So well, that's it. The problem is actually we have to render this in the normal renderer. So not normal, I mean, we need to render it on CPU, so it will take much longer. However, how you make those things here uh, appear to be blurry and like, like real sparks, you just activate motion blur. 
and as you can see now it looks more interesting and not more interesting however but um, it's fine maybe we should increase decrease the, the, the amount of particles uh, emitted something like no no that's still too much Turning a little bit around, testing a little bit, it's always um, it's always good to test around and check out how the things are working. Because basically all the things you need you can't really get it in a tutorial. You don't tutorials just tell you the technique how you can do something. What you actually need is your own idea. And you can't take your ideas from a tutorial. That's not. That's not actually not how it works. So, um, yeah. Put in a little bit glare over here, and yeah, we got a pretty little fireball. That's it. Actually, it's a green fireball. However, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you for the. See you at the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, see you again. <laughs> uh, maybe I can say what I wa I'm planning to do for the next tutorial. Next tutorial, we're going to make water float like a water bender on av Avatar or something like this. So, water float, floating water next time. See you then. Goodbye.